Greetings friends, just wanted to make another video about this thing before it goes on the machine. Now we still have a potential war problem here. But the plan is to reverse the motor cage so that this end is pointing down. This end here as well, but I have got an oil seal on order for that. Uh, so it can't go out in the rain at the minute, but the plan is from what I can see, there's only going to be wind tonight for the next week and there's going to be no rain. So I may uh, put it up just to see how it runs, but it feels perfect. I was so chuffed. It feels perfect. And obviously I went out and got some brand new bolts. I don't know if you remember the bolts before stuck out, didn't they? So I went and got these 16 mil bolts from Screwfix. I prefer an Allen key head when... You know, when someone's just got to stay in there, I can't stand using their screw head. So they're Allen key M5s and they're 16 mil long, but they do the job perfectly. I didn't have any five mil washers, so they've got six mil washers on. Uh, had to buy one of these because my drills are both broken and need to drill the two holes through the outside of the cage. We'll just go out quickly and explain that end of the shenanigans. Firstly, I've got this sheet of scrap, which is about 1.2 meters long and about 30 centimeters wide. I am considering making some kind of shroud to fit over the top. Now, with regards to the uh, motor, the wire has to come out here. It's the only place it can come out. Uh, with regards to, so overall, eventually, this has to go in the other way round. So this has to be taken off, and then obviously we'll have to make a new, uh, there'll have to be holes drilled on the shaft somewhere here. But if we have it that way, then the leaky end is pointing downwards. Okay, uh, before I drill the holes for the motor cage, I'm gonna turn it round, because if I drilled them like this and then turned it round, it wouldn't be right. But that is more work than I would like because this is all this has got to come off. Uh, but anyway, whether that's done now or eventually, that has to be done. And when I've drilled the hole through here, we can get rid of these bolts. This bolt can go, the clamp can go, that clamp can go, that other bolt can go, that bolt can go, just to be replaced by two M8 bolts, which will come through here and then be bolted on on the inside. So yeah, that's that. There is work needs doing to it here. If I'm convinced there's not going to be any rain tonight, then I, I may put it up. Uh, yeah. But just let you know, there is stuff does need doing here. And the plan is to make a shroud that possibly to come all the way where this is, all the way from here, all the way over and then here as well. So it'll be kind of like a triangle shape. And don't forget that the water is always going to be bouncing in from the front of the turbine because it's carried by the water. So anyway, like I don't know how it will turn out until I've done it, but it does seem like a good idea. And the, the motor should be good to go. I'm so tempted just to go get it, put it in now, see if it turns.